Welcome to Sweeping the Country, the podcast that is, well, is sweeping the country, not like a broom. I know that could be misconstrued. I don't mean it like that. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to sweep the country. <laughs> I'm not going to sweep my steps. <laughs> and they couldn't pay me enough to sweep this country. No, uh, sweep. How are you? I hated that. I didn't like sweeping at the grocery store. I worked at the grocery <laughs> store. I had my first job working at Dell Champs grocery store. Mopping, I hated, and sweeping, I didn't like much more. Yeah, I don't like it. Because all you think you were doing was collecting dirt and moving it around. Yeah. Now, and I'll then tell you. Wet, all you were doing was wetting the dirt and moving it around. <laughs> yeah, but. I didn't I, really see the the, 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 the the magnitude of. I do like my dust buster, though. I was going to ask about you. Sweeping. Have you tried a power blower? Those are a lot of fun. You get the blower. I do have a power that. blower, and that moves dirt around. Again, you're not doing anything with the dirt. You're That's just right. moving it rapidly from one place to the next. Yeah, but I love it. It's gratifying for some reason. No, that's I, fun. That's fun. <laughs> I could do all day on this. I mean, my dust buster, my little hand dust buster is great. Yeah, those are and good. And the world's greatest vacuum cleaner is the rainbow. The worst, uh, the worst oh, vacuum God. or the best? Best, oh, greatest rainbow it's water. It uses water, and you suck the stuff in your really powerful engine that sucks the debris into water, mm. so it doesn't spread around. You know, it it, it stops. Yeah, where all these micro like things filter, don't fly yeah. around the room. Yeah, yeah, and it's just a great thing. I've had it since the earthquake in San Francisco. Wow. Bought it from a salesman the night of that earthquake. I remember. Are the, you talking about on TV. the one the battle the battle back. of the bay two thousand the and one where the Oakland Brit, the, the God, uh, what year all was the, that? I don't know, back in the eighties, I think. Yeah, it was a long time ago, man. You still got the same vacuum, and you have a pet too. So that I've thing. gone through divorces and everything else with it. I've, I've, that, that's the only consistent thing is my rainbow <laughs> vacuum cleaner. I didn't yeah. let anybody get their nails on that one. Uh, I love it. Well, let's do it right now. No, let's talk so we've done about a couple it. of minutes on sweeping. We've never done that before. We've never done I that. think that's fantastic. I okay. Think it's ironic. Okay. I'm in a wad, so let's go ahead and just get me unwound let's here. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm on a thing, and I've said it to some of my best friends. We say it to each other all the time, usually once a week, that the United States is becoming a third world country. Wow. That's a pretty it's bold not the, statement. not the place that we grew up in for better or for worse it is not the place that we were used to as far as service is concerned that's true um you know it, it go to any at least where i you know in, in my world anything involving fast food is just ridiculous mm -hmm. i mean the people that they're that I guess the only people they can get to work there in some cases now somehow chick-fil-a has it figured out and they have they're they're like Federal Express. They're just some companies that do it right. I agree. They just know, do it right. They, FedEx is one of those people that does it right. Yeah, UPS. Um, let's say it. UPS is good at UPS it. UPS probably. I, I don't yeah. deal with them that much. But I they do. They seem yeah. to do it do it well. Um, and uh, I mean, there are some companies that do it right. They just do it right. And I, there's some. I don't see how I don't see how any business person could own anything from the McDonald's keeps their food consistent. I will say that. That's but true. Yeah. How most of these places, you know, and, and they still run pretty orderly and their taste of their food is pretty consistent. I agree. Best of these fries. others is not. You know, I, I, I'll jump in real quick here. My wife and I went to a, a deli chain. I don't want to say the name of the deli. I don't know. No, it's, no, okay. it's not. It's it's a chain. Uh, and some of them are very good. But the one we went to, we went to because of the name, right? And we go, okay, they're pretty good. Let's go. So we go there. The lights are half off. Nobody has the lights. The tables are dirty. It, it's about 2 o'clock after lunch. Right. It dirty as heck. There's two employees in the back. We're standing at the counter. Nobody says hi at all. About two minutes no. go by. I say, excuse me, excuse me. Finally, yeah, I'll be right there. And goes back into the back again. Well, I'll just tell you, I drove off at an Arby's the other day. Well, I we walked out. Yeah. Food, yeah. And uh, I paid for it. And they wanted me to uh, pull over down, you know, right in front so they could bring it out to me. I'd already waited. It was it was not a big oh, deal. Geez. I mean, it was just a little stupid something, nothing. Yeah. And I just said, you know, and I started thinking about, man, this may not be clean. You know, maybe they're not washing their hands. I started going through all this. Oh, you do. Paranoia yeah. stuff. You do. Yes, you do. And uh, and because if things aren't working smoothly, I'm not. I mean, I've been in news long enough, or done stories on how people are doing making whoopee at the backstage of the hamburger joint and doing all <laughs> kinds of stuff like that. No, but you're you know, so or, you're so right about that because I my wife and I many times will come into a restaurant or we'll go fast food whatever it is and it'll smell funny or it will look like 
You know, it's not very no, clean. And we eat, go, we know? eat there anyway. And then, and recently we just said, I know we're crazy. I and I'll know. tell you, if, I don't know. if you let this be a tip for someone, okay. Do not go to fast food places after dark, <laughs> uh, particularly on a weekday. Okay. Uh, because they they can't get people hardly to come during the week day daytime to yeah. come work. They're really having trouble filling those nighttime positions. So they're often understaffed. And I can guarantee you that some of the first things that go is cleanliness, supervision, and some of that stuff. And it just it's not worth I've it. got to I mean, I've it's really made myself risk. back off on most of that. And uh I got, you know, I don't know. And yeah. particularly late, late night, that's really dumb. I think Unless you're, you're right. very confident about, because I'm telling you, it doesn't take much to get, you know, back some of this food in a bad way. People come to work sick, you know, where there's no supervision, you got anybody there, but well, we're going to cut the corner a little bit. He yeah. seems to be okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. no, no, you're right about that. And, and, I, and here's another thing, on a bigger issue than that. Yeah. Boeing. Uh, the door. I have my t-shirt to say, if it ain't Boeing, I ain't going and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Boeing is too big to fail. I'll just tell you that right now. I agree. I don't care how many bolts they leave off. If they go bankrupt or whatever else, they're going to go bankrupt. And, and I guarantee you ended up probably the only people to get hurt are the, are the employees. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. that company is too big to fail. Mm -hmm. They are too big a defense contractor. You're seeing things that are the consumer planes, the 737s and things like that. The company itself is into every kind of spy satellite and everything in the world. So the cruise missiles and all these things. So, so when you they're look not at, gonna fail. Yeah, when you look at uh the overall picture, the percentage of commercial aircraft that they produce for their business, it's not a hundred percent. I mean what what is that is it fifty percent of their business? Is it twenty percent of their business? I don't know what it is. I mean it would but be something we could look up and see, but yeah. it's it they do a lot of other stuff. Yeah. Uh, right. they do a lot of other stuff. And and it's so complicated, you know. There used to be McDonald Douglas. It used to be McDonald aircraft. I remember McDonald Douglas, Douglas aircraft. Yeah. There used to be all these different people that were around. Mm -hmm. uh, Lockheed you know, still Martin are some is Lockheed that make Martin. Helicopters. Lockheed Martin were they? Lockheed Martin made the C seventeen and yeah, yeah. I mean, there have been some people, but we've let all these companies go kaput uh, yeah. as far as mostly on the consumer side. That it's just Boeing. Well, there's Airbus. Yeah, Airbus put us in a trick because they were backed up by by French and German for sure. And I don't know if England was yeah. in on it or not, yeah. but I know that France and Germany were, were part of it because the planes come when they assemble them. I've seen them in Mobile. Mm -hmm. uh, they come from Toulouse, France. I'll be darned, so yeah. they make certain planes over there, but they assemble a lot of the smaller ones that you're seeing in the United States are being assembled in Mobile. Interesting. I didn't uh, know that. How do they and, come and they're not on making a... any of the parts there? Yeah. They're shipping in all the parts from hither and yon and putting together the fuselage. And it's just like when you lived in northern uh, Idaho. Yep. You would see the fuselage. Yeah. For, uh, the green metal. Everything. Yeah. Green metal. Uh, big old. I never it would knew. Come who... through. Is that Airbus? Yeah. And those, that's where you sat. Yeah. That's where the that's where the question is about the unbolting. Ah. You know, we're in things like pass by your area. But you know they bring it, and then and then it's so international. They make one of the parts in in Hooflum Bloom, and they make this part in there, yeah. and then those people, international companies, buy the planes. Interesting. So they yeah. buy the planes, but you're also making part of the plane in their country. So they're happy about that. So yeah, yeah. But we're a one trick pony in so many things, and I just ran into it with cable. I I thought I was paying for a gigabyte cable service. Yeah. They came out here and dug up the yard. I so remember, they put yeah. The proper cable mm -hmm. in here. All right. Well, somewhere in the last year or so, I guess I haven't been fanatic about checking my speed. Probably hadn't done it in a year, I bet, until recently. Yeah. Because I just hadn't had an issue. It just worked. Mm -hmm. Well, you can't really feel it sometimes if you're going from from one gigabyte down to a half. You only start to feel things like that when you're uploading or downloading video. Well, I've had to upload some video lately, and it's been taking forever. And I said, what is the speed? And mm -hmm. it turned out uh, and the price hadn't changed, but I was only paying for 300 megabytes. And, uh, and I thought I had a gig, so two-thirds less. But they had cut my gig off and without telling me and changed the plans all around. But considered me, since I'm not churning and I haven't cut their service off, 
in three years and gone like with AT&T or somebody else yeah. that I'm considered a godfather. So I was able to, you know, keep some things, but it's crazy. I mean, we, we don't, we phone companies, we do have some choice, mm -hmm. but you know, I don't, I've never heard anybody tell me if one's really better than the other. Yeah. I think it's just whether six it's Verizon half, or T-Mobile you know? or yeah. AT&T. I don't know. I've stayed with AT&T, but I'm not sure why the, you know, the hamburger joints. Yes. We have a lot of different places like that, but it just seems like more and more we're becoming, whether you've got to get it from Amazon or you've got to get it from Apple or Microsoft, or you've got to get it from, from Google or something like that. I mean, we're getting to be like one, 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 one. It's like, we're not, we're, we're, what happened to the country that said there was a monopoly in the business and we're going to break it, you know, the phone companies I up. Agree. And all I agree. Baby bells and stuff. So why, why aren't they doing that anymore? What is, I don't what, know. Is it's it the, like we don't enforce those laws anymore. They, the, because the people on the other end, the Microsofts, the Facebooks, the Googles, yeah. the, uh, the Disney's and those people have better, uh, lobbyists than we do. You know, it's funny. Uh, you Look brought how that... much ESPN ESPN now has every, I think they have, there might be big 10 or big 12. One of, one of those conferences that not that many people care about, but nationally ESPN just about owns college sports. Yeah, they do. They, they bought do. everything and you can't get around them. No. And you got to think about if the you... parent companies, Disney, right? I mean, they got ABC, they got ESPN and Disney, and they are huge. I mean, they are massive. And they're going to talk about breaking up, and you're going to hear some stuff in the coming year where they're going to split up a little bit and not be so diverse, where they're going to keep the ESPN, I think, mm -hmm. or sell them as one unit, which I don't think they're going to do. I don't either. But they I've... just bought up the rest of Hulu uh, from NBC, I think. Yeah. And now they own 100% of Hulu. Yeah. And it's just things are consolidating. These big companies get bigger, and it's just uh, it's frustrating if you're a consumer you know, with cars, there's still a pretty good number of differences in cars. Yeah, I agree. But I felt like there for a minute, and I think we might be winning in the battle short term on this electric vehicle thing. I think that, yeah, I think the, I, I don't think that's happening as quickly as some people would like now that yeah. even Ford has backed off and a bunch well, of other people. The, the companies, did, they all jumped in to get the government rebates. I mean, they got, they got, they got the manufacturer yep. rebates, so they all made electric cars. Then what happened is the consumer said, eh, we don't really want it yet. I mean, some people want it, but as a whole, as a taking the entire population. It's not practical for us. It, really. it isn't because people go further than 50 miles a day, you know, or whatever. If it's a short distance, they're awesome. They No gas. It's really cool. If you're going on a trip or you're driving any distance at all, not going to work for yeah, you. No. That's just a simple version. But all these companies have found out they made all these electric cars now and they're going, geez, we're not selling that many electric cars. And now supply and demand kicks in. I just saw the other day one of the rent a car agencies is turning loose all of their electric cars. They're too expensive. That's what they said. I don't know what that means. But you've got people, you know, these government people, and many of them are of one particular uh, political party. Yeah. They're buying like an electric fire truck and trying to get right. electric this and electric Buses. that. And what they, but what they don't understand is that these things may not haven't even been tested to see whether they work well in freezing conditions and all of and that certain kind of weather yeah, conditions all of yeah, that they, electricity doesn't work well in the uh, trucking companies. They're finding out that these trucks, these big old electric powered trucks, the semis and such, they're not able to go the distance that a diesel truck can go. So it's costing, it ends up costing more for these shipping companies to put a driver in a sleeper cab and have them sit there and charge that truck. And so, you know, everybody's backing off a little bit. It was pretty gung-ho, but I think they're starting to realize, I mean, the consumer dictates. It's not ready for prime time, yeah. you know, and it's. I agree. And it's, I just, agree. it's so frustrating now that we, and it's frustrating because we just this week had the uh, New Hampshire primary. Yeah, where, that's right. You know, where you, Biden didn't even want to be on the, on the camera. I don't even know what that was weird. The Democrats didn't even want to be a part of it or something. Yeah, he wasn't even on. Because they were mad because they wanted South Carolina to be the first or something. Some yeah. silly political crap. And then the Republicans, you know, everybody dropped out except for yeah. Haley. Yeah. And then she didn't she didn't win. The MAGA thing, the Trump deal was there. But her speech so, was weird. It was like she did win. 
It was. Did you listen yeah. to her speech? It was like she did win. I don't. Well, know. it's the same speech that Trump had because yeah, he's, I, he's still saying he won. Yeah. So I mean, these are election deniers almost. Yeah. But you know, we're gonna right now, as we stand, mm-hmm. we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be faced with Trump versus Biden. Although I just can't believe that's gonna happen. I still I, I won't st- believe that's going to happen. I still don't either. I don't know. You know, we talked about the Obama. We talked about Michelle. Something's got to change. There's, Something's got to change. There's got to be something, Jimmy. I can't imagine in the last however many, six, eight, ten years, these two parties cannot come up with anybody else. Is that really true? I mean, honestly, 82 years old and 77 years old, that's what we got? Well, the Biden people don't want to give up power. Yeah, you know, I get and that. That's yeah. some of the, and that's some of the... Obama people were actually behind the scenes. Yeah. And, you know, Joe isn't, I don't know that he's comfortable making decisions. They say the most powerful person in the White House is his wife. I'll buy that. And that's that. pretty much, remember, that's how Nancy Reagan was the most yeah. popular person there in that's the true. end days with Ronald Reagan, that he he was kind of out of it. Yeah, that's and true. We don't we don't need to be there in these times. And then they're talking about vice president. I don't care if vice president's Mickey Mouse for either one of them. Yeah. People don't vote for the vice president. If all things is, are equal, maybe one can push you a little let further. Me, let me let me ask government. you a question though. With and I agree with you. I people vote for president, but in the past, the average age of a president is right around 50, 55 years old. Over the years, over the years. So now we have two guys that are that are getting up there in age. They're past the retirement. Age. Yeah. This is pretty old. So now, are should we be voting for vice president? If I absolutely, mean, we should. Right. We should have all along. <laughs> right. I mean, you know. Right. Because, right. I mean, yeah. but yeah, we really should now. But you know, these old coots. There's no telling how long they're going to. Right. Live. It could be one year. It could be six months. We don't know. Ten or twenty. Yeah. Ten or twenty years. That's true. That that's is true. And that's that's more realistic. I mean, these people are people are living longer. They got great health care. So. Yeah, there there it, is some of that. Has obviously, you know, done something right to make it to this far. You think at but anyway, some point? It's just, it's just odd. You think at some point they put an age limit on it, or they put a test on? We got to be or more something? organized than to do that. You know, I mean, yeah. I mean, we, we what we this country is like. I'm going back to the original thought of either. You know, you're stuck with the cable company you've got. You're stuck with right. the hamburger right. joints you got. You know, right now things don't seem to be working right. That you know, you want to blame it all on the president, and really, it's not. I mean, you know, he's he's not the king. He right, doesn't right, just right. not a dictator. Yeah, it's it's the it's the ineptitude of of the Congress that goes along with this. You yeah, know, the fact that they can't agree together on what day it is because they're just you know one side's just too ornery and the other side's just as ornery. Yeah. You know, you've got your ACOs and the, all those people, AOCs, mm-hmm. you know, on the far left-hand side. And then you've got these far right-hand side people on the Republican. Mm-hmm. And those two extremes are screwing everything up. Yeah, I agree. Because it, it, they're making it impossible because of the numbers for anybody to try and negotiate. And it life's about a negotiation. It's not about getting everything you want or yeah, getting I, nothing. I agree with you 100%. We uh, we had some local politicians uh, come through the other day at, at work, and we were just talking, and on the side, I just said, hey, are you getting any young people that want to do this, you know, that are getting into politics? Because, you know, the, the, uh, the most people are older. They've had life experience, and we want that, but we want young people too because we want to have that youth and gain the experience as they as they grow in the job. And they said, not really. There's not a lot of young people that want to do this. They just don't have any interest in it unless they're extreme right or extreme left. Those young people yeah. jump in. But the, and they're usually one issue candidate. Yeah. One issue. Yeah, I, I would agree with that too. And I find you that. No, they're either they've gone crazy because of the abortion subject right, or, right. or whatever it is. It, usually it's one issue. And we can't be a one issue country either. Yeah, it that's true. It can't just be the only thing you care about is abortion or immigration or whatever it's just we foreign got, aid we, yeah we live in a country you have you have hopefully 10 fingers and 10 toes mm-hmm. you're not just concerned about finger number two and toe number three you can't do that you've got to right. you've got to take care of all of them <laughs> and uh we, we're not good at juggling right now and and it's just sad to watch what whatever in the hell has happened to boeing 
that that is made you know I, people not screw bolts in and stuff. I don't I don't understand. I'm with it. you though. I'm with you. I don't think Boeing is going anywhere. And I'll tell you, if you're if you're a stock market guy or you're you're somebody who invests in that kind of stuff, I and I don't I don't have I'm not in the stock market at all. But if I were, and I've actually thought about this lately, I would I would probably buy Boeing right now, I, if I were doing it because they're gonna bounce back. There's no way they're not gonna bounce back. I, I just don't think that's possible. I mean, and well, maybe I'm just, wrong. They need to fix what's. We well, got to determine what's wrong with them first. Why is why are these things happening? You know, is it just bad luck in some cases, or yeah. or people cutting back on, on maintenance? You know, at some of these things, or yeah, or with the. Did the, did the bean counters cut out some of the checklist things? People, you know, to all right, here this person is doing putting a widget in a widget hole, and is there anybody coming behind him to check the widget hole? I got you it. Know, quality I, control. Yeah, I mean they they make a lot of products, so I'm guessing that this is this factory and it's this line and it's that group, and they know where the problem is. I'm sure of it. Uh, I don't think they're too quick to jump and say, "Oh, here's what we were doing wrong," but I think they'll fix it right away. Uh, how they re you know, surface and how they, you know, spin well, they've it. Ruined, they, sullied the name so bad of this, of this 737. They almost need to go to another plane because I agree. They've screwed it up so bad now. No matter how many times they change it to Max or whatever the one was, the before, 900 just, or the 800. Yeah, yeah, they've yeah 700s. Now yeah. they've they've just screwed it up so bad. You know, it's like uh, Tylenol, whatever. They, I actually, whatever they did. it's funny that, yeah, I remember Tylenol had cyanide. Didn't somebody put cyanide yeah. or something? There was a problem. Why not? It was a good one. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I actually look at the type of plane when I'm going to the airport and I actually go, wait a minute, is this 737 Max? I don't want to fly that. You know, and this it's not the first problem that this plane had. They had another problem too. Uh, it had to do with the planes just nosediving. Remember the software or whatever it was? I think yeah, those were. Uh, that was training. I think they figured out. I don't Those know. Those were but... people that, you know, they had like no experience flying planes that had yeah, learned. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe them. so. <clears throat> and that's another problem too. You got people up there now that don't have that many hours compared because you're not taking them out of the, you know, the Army, the Navy, Air Force, and Marines, and you know, yeah, aviation right. like you used to because they're not flying that much. So you're having to. It's it's like I said. We got <laughs> we're we're getting more and more of a. You know, this is just troubling. troubling you, 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 look- you brought up customer service earlier, and, and I don't disagree. I agree with you 100% on customer service, and it's I do believe it's gone. But do you think there's – and I don't, I'm not putting anything, any weight on any one generation, but do you think generationally that we have now accepted this level of service, and so that is the oh, – yeah. you and I haven't accepted it, but there's a no, level we, – we're fussed about it, but we've ex- – we yeah, fuss about it, yeah, but we accept right. it. Yeah, you're right. I, I mean, we I accept the fact that, that Hilton, for example, you know, they don't clean your room on the second night anymore. Yeah. They, you know, it was COVID. It was a COVID thing originally. Now it's just a half-ass thing. Um, they just don't do it. My wife stayed in a hotel. She's been gone uh, for about four days. She stayed in a hotel with no heat and no hot water. And when she went to wow. the desk, they said, yeah, we can send somebody up either late tonight, it was midnight, or maybe sometime tomorrow. And that was the level right there. There used to be a time that if you you didn't have heat in your room, they move you to oh, another room good. right now. They they oh yeah, you know. So it's that stuff's gone. It's just gone. It, and and it, it, they can blame COVID all they want. Yeah, but we never came back from COVID on a lot of these hotels. Yeah, I would agree with that. The service, the everything. Yeah, and then then sometimes they're trying to you know make up with half-ass service. Where they don't have to have half, as many maids. Well, many where else people. where are we going to stay? I mean, there's there's only so many hotels. If they all do it, what do we do? Don't you just got to know? You know, like I'm a I'm I'm a Hilton Diamond person because I'm a frequent stayer. Yeah, and I'm very disappointed in them right now. Mm-hmm. I've uh, heard that about Marriott. I've heard it about all the big, all the big. They groups. probably are all that way. That's why I haven't done anything rash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and I just and I'm I'm disappointed with. You know, a lot of our food choices, and I think a lot of people are trying to run a good ship, but it's difficult. It is. And, you know, and it all started lately because of the party in power right now screwing up our oil and gas uh, prospecting, screwed all that up on the first day, and yeah. that caused our gas prices to go up. And everything that we have with inflation, and I don't care, find me something that's not connected to it. Yeah. Because of that gas price going up. 
and it went up. Mm -hmm. That caused everything from the truck that brings the eggs to the grocery store to everything in between to go up. And every bit of it was incrementally raised. And that's why we've got the inflation and everything else that we've got because they screwed around with oil and gas. We had it down. We had mm -hmm. it going. Yes, we did. And then they screwed it up because of, you know, it's it's bad for the environment or whatever. And, and yeah, we do need to do something about it, but you can't do it like that. Mm -hmm. You can't do it like that. And you can't bring something in that's not ready for prime time to take its place. Yeah, you roll that out and it causes chaos. I mean, chaos. you know, it's and just, and I heard this about somebody, that somebody said this, um, and the Republicans, they got their own problems, but I'm talking about the Democrats that, and in this case, because I, I heard the person, it kind of rang a bell with me. Okay. He said that a lot of people in the Democratic Party, they're good people, they're, but they live in utopia. They yeah. live in a different world because they just do. They they live in a world, you know, of lollipops and electric cars and, you know, sunshine and, and cars and... that fly and <laughs> sunshine and, you know, and all that stuff. Right. I don't know that Republicans don't live in that world, but... Many of these things that, that they do, and I heard somebody, you know, and then some of it's just a money grab. Yeah, 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 I agree. There's the mayor of there's a mayor of a big city in the south that uh, went with uh, an aide to Dubai mm -hmm. for some kind of energy conference. There's nothing the mayor of New Orleans or anybody else has anything to do with some green energy conference. That's just a trip and a money grab. Yeah, yeah, I would, I would you agree. Know, really, we, we had that's that not, here, you know. And that's what a lot of it is. They they're spending this money. I heard where they gave two million dollars to some school system so they could have some meetings to teach kids, you know, where they don't shoot each other. Well, I don't think kids naturally are going to shoot each other anyway. Uh, but and I don't know why they do now. Yeah. But I don't know that having some meetings, you know, is I don't know. I don't that doesn't seem to me the answer. That just seems to me a way to give the government, the federal government, give the local government two million. And I guarantee you, show me the bills on how that money was spent. I, I go way back to back in the days when I had distribution company and we sold paper products to a prison system. I won't say the state, I won't say federal or state, whatever it was. We sold them non-perishable items, right? They would buy these items. I would say, why are you buying so many of these items? And they would say to me, well, if we don't spend the money, then the budget shrinks next year. So there what do go. they do? They buy mm -hmm. unnecessary things in order to make sure they have the budget in case they need it. But otherwise, they're just pissing into the wind. And I'm sorry to say that, but that's what that is. That's our money. And in some cases, they're just going on trips and eating right. on expense accounts Any of that. staying in Any fancy of hotels. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's a credit card. They get a credit card. They have to spend X amount every quarter, every month, whatever it is. And if they don't, that shrinks. And if and, it shrinks, and this is where it goes back to layoffs. And we can end on this. Yeah. The LA Times laid off, what, 400 people or so? 100, 100 or 400, a lot of people yeah. this week. And you're just taking these newspapers down it's not much left yeah for these newspapers and i'll just tell you the dirty secret tv news and radio news have have fueled their news departments what few are left in all these things mm -hmm. with the newspaper the newspapers did the work yeah i mean the, they're yeah that's and right the radio stations and the tv stations got the newspaper and that was their guide and then they'd add to it or you know subtract right. back moving right. around but that was the that was the format sheet. That was the guide was getting the newspaper, and either online or otherwise. Yeah, and, yeah. And so these newspapers, when they're gone, you know, you're not you're it's just it. You can't unring a bell. Yeah. And I don't know what you do for. I don't know how this country. I really don't know how it survives with the only form of news that our voters get is from TikTok. I don't know either. That and is, you, you that, is, that is created by God knows who. Right, God knows who. And you, you actually, you hit on it earlier, and I will, I'll put everybody, all, all the politicians, not even Demo Democrats or Republicans or Libertarians or whatever, I don't, none of them. I put everybody in Washington right now, they're all living in a fantasy land. They're out of touch with all of us. You know, they're talking about AI like, well, it might cause some problems. They better get after it right now. Because they didn't do anything with the internet when it came out, and now look at the Wild West, right? Look what it did, yeah. Right, so you got to get on top of the AI situation too. But they're all living in sunshine, lollipops, unicorns, whatever. That 
that whole thing. Nobody wants to make the tough decision. And if they do, they and get- nobody wants to admit that these companies, America's companies, top fortune 500 companies. Yeah. They don't want any more employees than they got to have. The yeah. bean counters are trying to get rid of employees left and right you and left and right. Believe and, it. There's a push in America. Happened, I mean, there's 40 here, a hundred here. Yeah. Read it every day. Yeah, it's out there. Google getting rid of hundreds. Oh yeah, uh, and Jimmy, everybody. don't don't even think for a second that those people aren't also just hiring part time help, so they don't have to give them any benefits. They're right. You know, they'll oh, take yeah. uh, twenty part timers over you know fifteen full timers any day. You know, just right. so they can cut all that out because we've demanded that everybody get it for free, so they don't want to give it now. So part time people don't get it. So there's more part time help, less full time help. And thus we get the service we're getting. No sunshine. And then with and AI, no what's going to happen with that? I can tell you now, people are going to have AI. You know, it's going to take the place of a lot of people, whether you're calling customer service somewhere mm-hmm. or whatever else. And and they say, what are we going to do with all these people? They won't have jobs. They'll be on the government dole. They'll be getting an amount of oh, money from the federal you government. You are scaring so, me. We are writing a that's sci-fi exactly movie. What's going to happen. This is a sci-fi movie coming to life. It really yep, is. It is. It's it's really incredible. Sci-fi, science fiction was written by really smart people. Yeah, I agree. I mean, even when you look at the Jetsons <laughs> cartoon yeah. from the early 60s, yeah, they didn't get it all right. But they got but a lot of it right. <laughs> they got a lot of it right. And uh, the flying car thing was always pretty stupid. Well, it's coming. It's, it's coming. I mean, it'll eventually. It'll it's be. got I mean, it's there, but I don't think we'll ever see it I because <laughs> morons running into each other now. And, 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 Can you now. imagine so anyway. this, guys? Oh, my God. I can't oh even God. imagine. Well, Jimmy, a pleasure as always. Go get yourself a lollipop or a unicorn or some sunshine, and we'll talk again next week. Until then, I'm Derek Walker. He is? I'm Jimmy Carter. Good day. Good day.